In this quick training, we're gonna talk about how you can view the items that you have favorited inside of SmartSuite. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. In SmartSuite, we can favorite or star items. These items can be anything from solutions all the way down to views inside of our solutions and our apps. So let's take a quick refresher on how we got here. Previously, we favorited or starred one of our solutions inside of SmartSuite. Now I can be working inside of a totally different solution, but maybe I wanna really quickly access something on my favorites list. Well, in order to do that, I can go up to the navigation bar inside of my SmartSuite solution, and right here, I have that starred item option. If I click here, it opens up a panel that's gonna show all of the different things that I have starred or favorited right here on the screen. So with just a simple couple of clicks, I can now access all of my favorited items and drill right into them. Here, I just accessed my sales CRM, which I had previously favorited in that previous training. Similarly, we can star other features as well. As I mentioned, maybe I want to star a particular view. So here I have my view listing. And here, maybe I really like my asset development queue view. So if I wanna make this one of my starred items, I can simply star that particular view. And now, similarly, when I access my starred items, I get that specific view as well. So now, with just a simple couple of clicks, I'm able to not only drill into a solution, but drill into a specific view in that solution as well. Pretty crafty. Now, of course, the other place to access your favorited solutions is just from your dashboard. So if I'm here on my SmartSuite dashboard, all of my favorited solutions are up here at the top and I can just access them really quickly. It removes them from the rest of the workspace and kind of gives them special priority. I know we went fast here. If you have any questions, feel free to rewatch the training and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comment section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.